And I was probably six years old when I started snowboarding. And I remember just looking around me and seeing kind of like these outlaw characters. We weren't really allowed on the mountains. There wasn't a lot of money in the sport. I just think when I was a kid, hearing everyone saying I wasn't gonna have a future, I feel like is what made me want to have a future and want to have success in a sport that I wasn't supposed to. I just didn't understand why everybody else didn't see what I saw. I've always been very like strategic about the way I do things and especially competing. I mean, I feel like there's plenty of times I've stepped out on the mountain and, and I wasn't the best rider of the day, but I just looked at the scenario in the right way. I remember one X Games in particular, we got to the course and there was this big gap. You had to transfer over it and one of the really good riders didn't make the gap and everyone was freaked out. And I was just like, that's where I'm gonna do my biggest trick because everybody was just skipping it. And I won the competition because of that. I didn't have the tricks to just flat out like poker hand, you know, compare and beat the guy. I couldn't do it. But I used the course to my benefit by taking advantage of something that I don't think everyone else saw. You know, I, just, I think that's just the separators is really, you know, taking everything into account of what's going on. I mean, seeing the bigger picture. <laughs> Yeah, so what, you know, what's next for me? I mean, I really feel like I'm at this interesting place in my life right now where I've actually never been happier. I've never been more motivated, more excited about the next season. I mean, I'm investing in things that I want to be involved in. Aaron Style, for example, it's basically a snowboard contest with a bit of a concert that goes on. I was competing there when I was a kid and now an owner. I mean, I purchased the event and I'm bringing it to the U.S. It's something that I think will live far beyond my snowboard career and it embodies everything that I'm about in that sense. It's music, it's sports, it's fashion, it's, it's all of these things coming together. Welcome to the Sean White Oakley Air and Style. Xie Xie. It's good to have like, something that you're really passionate about. You know, same with the band. The band is so special to me because it's such a direct departure from everything sports related. I've always felt like I've got more to show people than just sports. At the end of the day, it's like, goes back to the beginning, like, what do you really want? What's the goal?